What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video we're drawing Tyler Hero from the Miami Heat. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw two circles for the eyes. Now we're going to start with the one on the left, start from the very top, and come all the way around towards the bottom of the eye, and then bring that back up towards the top. Now you want to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we're going to start by lining up the top of that circle. Now you want to bring that down towards the same height and then pull that back up towards the top. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each eye. So we start on the edge, come in, and then bend that back out. And then we just want to line that up on the right side. Now in the center of each eye, we're going to draw a smaller circle for the pupil tucked in behind that highlight. So let's start from the bottom, come all the way around, and just tuck that in, and do the same thing on the right. And we'll fill the center of the pupil in black. Let's move to the center of the face and draw on the bottom edge of the nose. We're going to start over on the left, draw a small curve coming down, and then up. Now we're going to move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Let's move back up and draw on the eyebrows. We start on the outside on the left, bend this in, go across, and then down on the inside, and we'll line that up on the right, going up and then out. Let's add some thickness to the eyebrow. Starting back on the outside, we want to go up a little bit higher in the middle, and then taper that down towards the inside. and we'll fill the inside of the eyebrows in black. Now from the tip of the nose, we're gonna step down and draw the mouth. Starting on the left, curve this down, and then up. Step down, draw a short curve on the lower lip. Now we wanna move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside of the left eye, let's step out, Curve the head, coming down, round out the cheek, and pull that in towards the middle, and we'll round out the chin, go out, and then bend that up on the right. Let's add a bump on the side of the head. Starting back on the left, go out, and then up. Now you want to connect the top of the head with a curve, coming down the middle. And we'll bend that back up. Let's draw on the edge of the hairline. Starting back on the left, we're going to go around the eyebrow, bend that in, and go up and in toward the top of the hairline. Now, when you come back down and draw on the ears, let's start back on the left. Go all the way around, and just tuck that in toward the side of the head. And now we're going to add the folds inside the ear. Start on the left, going up and out. Go back to the inside and add a hook, going out and in. And now we're going to add in the hair. Let's start on the top left, start with a curve going up and then out. And bring that back in. Let's add another point. We're going to go around and then in towards the top. Come down. Let's add another curl, going all the way around and up, and bring that down. I'm going to add a large one going across towards the right. I'm going to go up and across, bring this in, and then down in the center. Now I'm going to work our way over towards the right side. Let's step down, going out and up, come down and in. Now from the top, we're going to step down. Go out and then come down. Let's add another curl going out towards the side. Come down along the side. Go out. Now I'm just going to pull that in. And I'll close off this gap with one more curl going out. Just tuck that in towards the side. Now I want to add some texture along the base of the hairline. Starting down here in the middle, going up and over towards the right, add another one going out, add a 
small one on the end. And work our way across towards the left. Work all the way around and up, and then add one smaller one. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on the side of the sleeve. We're gonna start underneath the head on the left, come down, and then bend that out. Let's go over towards the right. Come down, and then out towards the same height. Bend the body going out, and then down towards the hip. Let's close off the bottom with a curve. Coming down in the middle, and then back up. Let's add in the collar. From the chin, let's step down, start with a point. Now we want to curve this up and out towards the sides, and we'll gradually bend that back up underneath the head. Now I'm going to add the number 14 in the center of the body. Let's start with the one on the left, come down the side, go all the way down towards the bottom, flatten off the top, and then trace out the right side. And leave a small gap and add the number four. We're going to start from the top, coming in. Working our way down towards the same height. And go across the outside. And we'll close off the top. Now let's trace out the inside of the floor. Now we're going to add the small Nike symbol on the top left side of the body. We're also going to add a stripe along the side. Stepping in, just follow the same curve of the body coming down. Let's move to the center of the body, step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Then we'll leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg, going out and down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet. Let's start from the left heel, bend the foot coming down and then up. And then from the outside, draw the top of the foot, we go up. I want to bend this down, aiming towards the heel, and we'll just curl it back up on the inside. Now we're gonna go back up to the hips and draw on the shorts. Let's start from the left side. We're gonna bend this out. I want to come down about halfway to right about there. We'll line that up on the right, and I'll close off the bottom of the shorts, coming down and bending that in. Now let's close off the bottom of the leg. We're gonna step in, bend this out and down on top of the feet. Now we're gonna add some detail to the feet. Let's start by adding a thick sole along the bottom. So we wanna take this curve, step up, just trace that across on both sides. And then from the heel, bend this down and then in towards the sole. And then we'll add the laces along the top of the foot. Let's we'll start from the outside, come in and down, go up and then bend that in. Now along the inside of this section, we're gonna add a series of curves going across for the laces. Just underneath the shorts, we wanna step down, add a curve, coming down and then in. and we'll add the edge of the sock in this gap. Now I'm gonna go back up and add a strut coming down the side of the shorts and then along the bottom. From the hip, step in, follow the curl of the leg, leave the gap along the bottom, and it'll follow that curve coming towards the inside. Now let's move back up to the top and draw on the arms. We're gonna start with the arm on the left holding the ball on the hip. So we're going to start right here, draw a circle, go all the way around, and it's going to tuck that back up underneath the hip. Let's add the stripes inside the ball. Start from the top, draw a straight line coming down the middle, add another line going across from left to right. Let's add two curves on either side. Start from the top left, bend this in and out, line that up on the side of the body, and do the same thing. Now from the top of the ball, let's draw a straight line coming in towards the side of the body. And the arm is going to curl down, so on the side of the ball, draw a half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. 
Let's go to the bottom curve of the thumb and draw on the first finger, coming down and up around that bracket. Come out to the side, go out and then up. And then the third finger is gonna bend this around and just pull that up and in towards the elbow. Now you connect the elbow to the top of the body with a curve, going up and bending that in. Now you're gonna move over and draw on the right arm. Let's start from this point, bend the arm going out and then down towards the wrist. Draw a small half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a bracket. Now I'm going to add three fingers along the bottom. Let's start underneath the thumb, come down and up around that bracket. Step down along the side, add the second finger, and then the third finger. I'm just going to go all the way around and just pull that up underneath the head. Let's add in that sleeve. Start from the top of the thumb, bend this out, and then up toward the side. I'm going to move up along the inside of the arm, draw that same curve. Let's finish off by signing our art and adding a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Tyler Hero from the Miami Heat. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to draw more NBA players, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.